What's up guys, welcome back to another FIFA 21 video. So as you can tell by the title, I have managed to complete Prime Icon Moments Ian Wright uh, literally on the day of his release for under 100k. Make sure you stay tuned and yeah, let's just get into the video. If you're looking to buy any FIFA 21 Ultimate Team coins, then look no further. U7 Buy has the cheapest coins out there, the transactions are safe and you'll receive your coins within a blink of an eye. Use code K for a 5% discount, link is in the description. Okay, so first of all, I as you can see, I haven't fully completed him. I've got one squad left, but I wanted to submit it um, in this video. Uh, so his, actually, his stats actually look pretty good. Well, I'll take a look at it first. Uh, the reason why I'm doing this is because I wanted an upgrade from a Akotcha. I want to try out Messi at Cam as well. So Ian Wright is pretty much the perfect fit. And mostly what persuaded me to do him was obviously the dynamic image. I didn't even know that EA could actually put that on there. Um, but he is, he pretty much fits the meta with, uh, he's five foot nine, high medium, which is really good. Three star skill moves, which is quite bad, but, uh, four star weak foot, which makes it even better. Um, so you can basically use both feet uh, 91 pace. So he's got a downgrade from last year's, uh, prime moments, uh, from 93, from 93 pace to 91 pace. So it's a minus two. Um, I think pretty much all of them are the same. I don't know if he's downgraded in some areas. Shooting is the same, 93. Uh, his in-game stats are actually sick. Um, maybe a engine would suit him. He's finishing and attack positioning, etc. And the, the whole shooting is amazing. Uh, so you need to upgrade his pace. Uh, maybe his agility and balance. He's 5 foot 9, so I don't know. Uh, but I haven't tried any of his cards yet. So I will try maybe a Hunter or something to fully upgrade his pace. And I'm looking to upgrade his agility and balance just because they are quite low. Uh, so I am I think I'm going to use an engine on him because it upgrades his pace, uh, dribbling, and I think physical passing. I'm not sure on that. But yeah, just those are the two key stats that you probably need to upgrade to make him like an end game player, which is pace and dribbling. So yeah, very good. Player traits, I think... So he's got speed dribbler and chip shot. So that's actually good because you can use left stick dribbling for him. He is five foot nine, which is good. Um, just got one more. So I've completed the born legend, which is just 11 rares and exactly bronze, 50 chem. And then I've also completed the full silver. It's basically the same, but just silvers. I've also completed league legend, which is just one Premier League player, 86 rated and 50 chem, which took me some time to do, but I managed to get the fodder and I spent over 100k, well not over 100k on this one, but I'm pretty sure I spent most of the coins um, on this, maybe 70k. And then this one I just use all my fodder, so I didn't have to use any any coins. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. And then this one um, that I have to submit right now, this is the team that I'm going to be putting in. As you can see, I've got a lot of, well not a lot of high rated players, a few low rated players. And then as you can see, I've got my... Giroud that I'm going to put into this SBC. So the reason why I'm actually putting Giroud into the SBC is because I've tried him. He's a bit clunky. Um, he doesn't feel like, well, he's got 84 pace, so he, he's, he's all right, but um, he just doesn't feel that good on the ball. But you can't really blame this card anyway, because um, his, I think it's his normal, I think it's, yeah, his non-rare card is like 30 nine or 40 pace so that has some effect on this card even if you see if um what can it like rabio right he's got like 72 pace on his normal card and he has like 84 something pace on his uh player moments he's not going to feel that really fast so uh just make so it's pretty much the same for the shiru card six foot four quite tall his stats are good but it doesn't it doesn't show in game at all for me when I tried him out, I tried him out in a few friendly games. I never actually used him in division rivals uh, because I couldn't actually get him in to it. Well, I couldn't actually use him in a team with 100 chem and 10 chem, etc. Uh, but yeah, this is the team I'll be putting in. Unfortunately, I'm getting rid of Lingard. I have to do this anyway to get that Ian right. So I'm going to submit it now. You get a jumbo premium gold pack. So pretty bad, not going to lie. Claim it. And as you can see, we have managed to get Ian Wright for, for under 100k plus fodder. Um, I'll show you actually some easy ways in which you can get him. But let's just see his walkout. It's pretty... I don't know. I don't know if EA can actually put his celebration like when he took his top off and stuff. 
um, but it's a pretty sick dynamic image. If he norm if he had his normal dynamic image, um, what he had last year or something like that, um, I probably wouldn't have done him. And yeah, he does look really good, so I can't wait to actually try him out in a, in foot champs this weekend. I did finish gold two, so I, I did not expect that. I thought I was going to finish gold three, but I managed to finish gold two. So there is gold two foot champs, and I think rank two um, division rivals rewards for Thursday. So it's actually a good rewards day. Well, hopefully it is anyway. Um, yeah, so this card is actually sick. I'm going to tr maybe try him out um, in a game after this video. Uh, maybe make a video on him. I'll see. I'll store him into club now. But yeah, so I'll show you the steps on how I actually completed him. So if you want to follow me, I had 100k to start off with. So if you do have 100, maybe more. Um, I'll show you now what I actually did. If I can go on, I think it's icons. He is. I don't know if I can actually go and click in what I need. Yeah, I don't think I can. Oh, no, I can. I can. Okay. Right. So basically for this bronze, it's just, it's pretty much simple. Um, I had them in my club, so I just put them in. Uh, for this one, I did a lot of the 82s to 88 upgrades. Make sure the key thing is that you need to have uh, non-rare gold in your squad so you can do the 82 to 88 um, upgrade packs and do about 10, maybe more, depending on how much players you have, but do at least 10. Um, if This is if you don't have any fodder, but if you have fodder, obviously use it for this. Uh, make sure you start off with the 86 and not these two because these ones are the easiest ones that you can complete while it's the 86 um, it's quite expensive if you were to buy it and if you want to comp if you want to use him for this weekend league you probably have to buy the players right now before anything else comes out before friday because i know people are well they, they were panic buying yesterday um but there's going to be a lot of well sell-offs and there's going to be a lot of um prices being raised just because of foot birthday is probably going to happen this friday uh, depending on the Thursday loading screen, but I'm pretty sure it is through predictions and uh, what happened last year and more. But yeah, that's all you have to do is just work on upgrade packs. Hopefully you get something good um, with the 100k. Make sure you just fill in uh, for the spaces that you have to um, if you don't have enough players in each squads. Uh, but if you don't, then put 100k towards 86, fill it up with some fodder and just wait because these two are gonna well 84s and 83s are quite low arsenal players like 82 rated are very high at the moment and what you also need to do is complete all of the objective cards so i'm talking milestones uh the Giroud card if you don't want him put him into the sbc you're going to get a better card in ian Wright. so put him into the sbc um put i think there's a ruben neves but i can't actually think on the top of my head uh, but I think there's a Ruben Neves, um, there's a Pastore which I haven't completed which would probably make it much easier and cheaper uh, but yeah make sure you go ahead and do all the play objectives and milestones uh, players uh, so this will actually make it much easier for you and cheaper uh, to complete Ian Wright or whatever icon you want to complete but yeah that is how to complete Ian Wright for under 100k it's really easy and really simple um, just as long as you know how the market works, as long as you know uh, like cheap ways in order to complete him and as long as you're decent at the game to get maybe a few extra coins um, or like extra player objectives. That is the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you are new to the channel and I will see you guys in the next video.